cruelty free does not exist. Stay tuned to know why. salon a few weeks ago and I wanted to get those powdered dipped nails and they told me that it was cruelty free but not vegan I was like how is that possible it doesn't make sense to me so let's back up and figure out what is cruelty free cruelty free is an adjective of cosmetic or other commercial products manufactured or developed by methods that do not involve experimentation on animals. Definition from Oxford Languages. Let's look over to our right where you see the bunny ears. So there's another definition from Wikipedia. Cruelty free in the animal rights movement. Cruelty free is a label for products or activities that do not harm or kill animals anywhere in the world. Okay, so now we know what cruelty free means. Let's figure out what veganism means. I'm going to go to the Vegan Society and we're going to figure out what the definition is. Veganism is a philosophy and way of living which seeks to exclude as far as possible and practicable all forms of exploitation of and the cruelty to animals for food, clothing, or any other purpose and by extension promotes the development and use of animal free alternatives for the benefit of animals, humans, and the environment. In dietary terms, it denotes the practice of dispensing with all products derived wholly or partly from animals. So basically cruelty free and not vegan means that you're consuming animal byproducts or animal products, but the animals are not being tested or experimented on. Hmm, that still doesn't sound right. So you see like cruelty free doesn't exist in the powder dip salon situation I mentioned because there are animal bits and pieces or animal byproducts in the powder but they weren't experimented on. But it's still cruel because animals are being, you know, passed away by human hands to gain these products. So that's not cruelty free. So that's powdered dip stuff is not cruelty free and it's not vegan. Let's talk about another example. Let's talk about sugar. Sometimes sugar is not cruelty free and it's not vegan. So that's a little bit about that. There are some brands of sugar that is not cruelty free and not vegan because of the bone char that is used to process the sugar. However, an argument for that is if animals were not passing away by human hands, there wouldn't be bone char to create sugar in the first place. So the choice is yours to consume sugar. But of course, there are some brands that do not use bone char. So you just have to look at the labels and look for that V sign. <laughs> Sometimes that helps. Another example of cruelty free does not exist is palm oil. When you harvest the trees to gain the oil from the palm, okay, um, you are creating deforestation for the orangutans and that would be considered cruelty because the orangutans don't have a place to live. That can affect their daily lives and it can possibly, they can possibly pass away because they don't have a home and they don't have food. Now the argument for that would also be that now there are, you know, ethic ethically sourced palm oil now. So that kind of balances that out a little bit. But there's still a lot of companies that use palm oil that is not ethically sourced. Okay, another example of cruelty free does not exist is that expensive coffee poop people like to drink. All right, let me tell you more about that. Oh, so I forgot to mention that that coffee animal poop is the most expensive coffee and it's from the animal, the Asian palm civet. This small creature poops very expensive coffee apparently. It is $35 to $100 per cup. So is that cruelty free and not, and not vegan? Well, no, because the man is so high for this poop coffee that the Westerners that they cage these animals and they lose their freedom just to make coffee. So it's not vegan and it's not cruelty free. Before the high demand though of this coffee, 
uh, I guess there would be exception to the cruelty free doesn't exist rule because the animals were able to live their lives and the people just picked up their poop once they left. So as long as you're not doing anything negative to impact their life, I guess it could be cruelty free. All right, so the last topic, which non-vegans like to say sometimes, some, okay, is, well, those rats are dying on the production floor when they're making your meat to make oatmeal and cereal and all those products. That's not vegan, that's not cruelty free. Those rats are dying. Well, I do have something to say about that. Okay, we get it. It is impossible to be 100% vegan 100% of the time. So when people, kind of go into this mindset it's more of an all or nothing mindset that perfectionist mindset and that is not healthy we can still make better choices by switching to plant-based food products than eating meat products you're still making a great difference you don't have to be perfect to be vegan because we all do some cruelty in our lives just at different degrees being a vegan is is to stop the very obvious things we can do in our power to stop animal cruelty and promote animal liberation. Don't stress yourself out about it. Less meat consumption, less shopping for fur and leather, etc. is still less cruelty. However, consuming less meat and buying less cruelty products does not, in the definition, make you a vegan. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.